All right, Frank is back, and uh, man, <laughs> was that something today? I still can't get over that. You know, as bad as it was, I, I try to look for something. We found out that the quarterback can throw the football. I think that's positive news. If you're going to get into a situation, this guy, I tell you, Frank, he was just knocked all over the place. A gutsy performance today, really, by yeah. Castle. Yeah, he really took a beating today. He got up, hobbled a few times. I know, Jack, I think somebody called your phone after about midway through the, the first half. They, they started to try to blame Castle. I think we yeah. hung up on him down there in the newsroom. Yeah. It's, it's not this kid's fault. This no. kid's doing everything he can possibly do. They've got a lot of issues on defense right now, and the way they've been playing recently, Jack, they're in big trouble in the AFC West. Yeah, they really are, and, and when you talk about Cass, I mean, we just didn't know. We didn't know if he, you, you got to be able to throw the ball, but this is two weeks in a row that teams have just shut down the running game. I, I don't, there, there's some issues here. They're, they're just not getting the job done, and for that defensive line to get pushed away the way it did today, that sends up a big red flag to me now. That's two weeks in a row. Yeah, and everybody's on to the Chiefs. They're going to let Matt Cass throw the ball. Now, after way through it today, maybe they won't be so happy to let him throw the ball. But they're definitely shutting down and run. Just say, if you can beat us with the quarterback, beat us. And despite all his yards, remember today, Jack, he didn't beat the Denver Broncos. And that, once again, shows the opposition the way to beat the Kansas City Chiefs.